advertising. Rebel man, rebel man. Bre probably from New York. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good, good to hear from you, brother. What you got for us, man? Good to hear from you. Been a minute, brother Kwame. Brother, I walk around scared, shaking in my boots. When I hear you brothers talking, I get the courage back. Mm. That's what we need. We need to, I hate that word empower. Okay, but we need to strengthen each other, strengthen our resolve. Because as some of the calls have said, and like you be afraid to speak up against homosexuality and the promotion. And it becomes ten times more compounded to the Obama and the White House. You know? Uh, but you mentioned something earlier about Chicago. That holds political power. Let us not forget Jesse Jackson in 1984. He was the first one put the homosexual agenda on the map as far as the total policy. Mm. You see, what's interesting is like now they try to play this thing where with uh, Obama, well, do you want to have a uh, so-and-so or so Romney? I remember whenever you brought up, the few people that brought up Jesse Jackson with homosexuality, well, we need them in order to, to, to uh, we need their lobby with us. And after all, the most important thing is a Popeye. And you know, she was interested in that. I told the event, if it means our boy clearly knowing what they're here for, and that is to make and come together with women and vice versa. I said, Nelson Mandela could spend a hundred more years in jail. Never realized that he was being ruled for the right time. When he came out of prison, he pushed both the slaughter in the Constitution of South Africa. That's true. Yes, sir. I never thought, I, 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 I was able to thought that one. Okay? But I remember him like Osman Dola in the 70s, you know, and his, and his ex wife Woody. And this stuff in there would she be what they call banned. And she's on the house of Okay? Then you see this Nelson Mandela. I mean, people were happy he was out. But then I remember something that he said. This first statement that he made. He said, all of his life, he has fought against white domination and black domination. I said, it is first because as long as he's been alive, the bowlers have ruled this country. One has no black domination to fight again. Mm. Right there, I saw something. I saw something fishy. Mm. Nelson Mandela. Mm. Nelson Mandela, as they say, he never grew up in a situation of black domination. But the Boer stole our land in fifteen hundred. I'm having all this time to control, and we just fell asleep. And so, well, before for that, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep pushing the other one. You see, even so-called revolutionaries, okay, holding on this issue of the base, sexual debate, confusion. Huey Newton, Huey Newton wrote, wrote some manifesto for homosexual social by Adam. Huey Newton did that, the Black Panthers did that. Black people don't, don't, don't realize. And, and I can say, just for brothers and sisters who are hearing that and are shocked or not sure, the brother's absolutely correct. Brother, 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 he did do that near the end of his life. He, he did, he did do that. And, but let's, let's, let's go further. You mentioned uh, the, Trinity, the Trinity Church in Chicago, Obama's church. Isn't that also Opus Church? I think Opus Church also. Yeah, it's Oprah Winfrey. We said that. Yeah, yeah. Oprah Winfrey goes to that same church. Right. That's Oprah Winfrey's church. But they were kindred spirits from day one. But what's getting more annoying, even when Obama says all this stuff, I guarantee you, the quote, the quote that you, that you 
providing for us, right? The public word, I guarantee all of our people self research saying that he has a safe policy. I'm free. It, 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 it's as though, I mean, I think about that song by Bob Marley, a natural mystic clear. Something's on his face. You gotta watch that movie, The Age of the Body Stack. See what, see what we're up against. It's as it's as well, you, you look around, everybody is either in it or promoting it. And you might say, well, I, I'll be a colonel. But they're gone. Every day, every day, you see something. And, and I remember when Obama was on that Ellen DeGeneres show. Dance with us. Dance with that. And a brother I know. I would be stupid lifestyle. Well, all the followers, I, I do too. I said, damn. So we yes. have a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. And I showed him my pocket. Because what I think that these homosexuals have said, as far as they're concerned, they're not going to convince me or convince you. But they're confident they're going to get to the children and convince them. Mm. Either to accept or practice. Mm. I mean, I brother told me eight years old. Eight years old. I mean, if anything, if anything, you should have left a pad of protection the girl. That's right. If, if, anything, if anything, if it was a little boy, he would have got in trouble because it's a little girl, and it's promotion of homosexuality, which is the main agenda. They won't do right. anything about yeah. it. And, 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 and this all the whole thing. We think about the brothers being criminalized and going to prison, going homo. But again, now women are going to jail and record, not record numbers. Let me do this, brother. I really appreciate it, but you know we way we are an hour over, so Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but um do you wanna wrap up with a statement? I'm go, we got one last call on the line. I wanna make sure yeah. we get to them. Okay. Well well yes, yes. I, I wanna say I, I gotta say one thing. Many years ago, I was walking with my mother in Harlem and she happened upon a brother from the Black Panther Party on the newspaper. We had a conversation all the time. I mean, you know, when you're child, like a day. I said, Mom, what are you talking about? What's wrong with this man? He said, I heard that the Black Panthers were going to start embracing women's lips. I told them that's a mistake. Because when they do that, the whites go to white women and black men get nothing. And this is what we're seeing today. I'm a little a prophetic. This is during the 60s. He said this to the Black Panther. Mm. Mm. So let us look at this, these things as school for thought. And uh, from that nourishment, uh, strength for proper and righteous indignation. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. We really appreciate you, Brother Quasi. Up in uh, New York, so we got some brothers and sisters up there that's holding it down in the north. Uh, we really, really, really appreciate you tuning in tonight, brothers and sisters. We went an hour over, so you know this was a serious conversation. But I, I don't think anybody missed a point. We thank you for listening. I think that it's been unanimous tonight. Uh, there's no question about it. Barack Hussein Obama, uh, Lucius Septimius Severus is not our friend. He's an enemy to our race. And none of our people should be... Uh, supporting this madness. If you're tuned into this station, we will be very disappointed if you even think about voting for this uh, destroyer of African lives and African families. We thank you for this whole month tuning in and supporting very difficult topics to do, but I think that they're going to have some weight in the future with our people as we redevelop our thinking for the survival and the forward movement of our race. With that said, uh, this is the end of the month. Uh, the month of August, which is the, the, the trial of martyrs, where they've been put on trial. All of them have been found guilty, and all of them have gotten emotional and psychological death sentences by our people where we will no longer support the madness associated with the N-word, the madness associated with Jesus Christ, the madness associated with uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and the uh, madness associated with uh, this magic mulatto enemy of African people, Barack Hussein Obama. We thank you for tuning in. We love you. We want you to tune in next month. If you think August was good, 
September is a whole new month. In September, now, since we've had the trial of the martyrs, now we're going to have the Hall of Martyrs. We're going to have four ancestors that we're going to talk about their work. we got to have the good and the bad, and we're going to make the decision. Do they live forever as heroes of African people? Do their good outweigh the bad enough that they become permanent uh, 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 African nationalist heroes for our people? We're going to start the month off with Brother Marcus Garvey. Uh, it's all being done under the guise of the Honorable uh, Prophet Nathaniel Turner, who is the standard by which we set our bar here at One Horizon. And then we're going to do the Most Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. We're going to do the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We're going to do Brother Omar Wali, Brother Malcolm X, El Haj Malik Shabazz. And lastly, we're going to do Dr. Khalid Abdul Muhammad. And the question is, do these men, do they live in history? forever eternally as heroes to african people and we'll vote and we'll make a decision uh we'll talk about the things the hard things the real discussion and dialogue and we'll come to our conclusions and move forward from there with that said we want to remind you we know it's hard talk hard discussion but hey we didn't come here to be your friends we came here to save our race we love you and with that brothers and sisters we'll see you on the battlefield war on the horizon you gotta love it yeah they say that this is a historical moment, so allow me to get historical inside of this moment. My people, whatever you do, be for who who be for you. Uh, Lucius Septimius Severus, oh ye black emperor of Rome. Barack Hussein Obama, black president of the brave people's home. Lucius Septimius Severus, oh ye black emperor of Rome. Lucius, born in Africa, this history is crazy. Septimius became the emperor of Rome in 193 AD. Severus, we had high hopes for you, every African man, woman, and baby. But you became the metaphor of a weeping willow tree, so sad, so shady. You went along with their brutality. You went along with their insanity. In disregard for non-Roman humanity, you rejected your own history and adopted a Roman identity. Lucius Septimius Severus, oh ye black emperor of Rome. Barack Hussein Obama, black president of the brave people's home. Oprah Winfrey's best friend is influential and her name is Gail. All best friends are influential and Barack Obama's best friend seems to be Israel. Even with glowing lights and makeup, the ugly truth can never hide. A black leader from South Africa recently went to Israel and said the treatment of Palestinians looks just like apartheid. Some say your speech on race was a nice try. You've given the image that you're a very, very nice guy and an also oh peaceful man. But I've read the transcripts of your speeches And you want to bomb Iran And you want to expand the war in Afghanistan Man, oh man How will you explain to your daughters Why Israel can have nuclear weapons But Iran cannot uh, How America can have nuclear weapons But Iran cannot hey, Even South Africa under white rule Could have nuclear weapons But Iran cannot Without using double standards Giving an answer You cannot Lucius Septimius Severus, oh ye black emperor of Rome, Barack Hussein Obama, black president of the brave people's home. Lucius Septimius Severus, oh ye black emperor of Rome. You did not change the imperial policies of previous Caesars. You created fools out of those who were your serious believers. You defended the interests of Rome and not the interests of your father's home. You prided yourself as a black man who was a true patriot of Rome. You alone, man, became the most loyal Rome man. History is a current event, so the past is the present and the present is the past. To you, Rome came first and Africa came last. The perceived source of relief is the source of our belief. That's why we believe believed in you so prematurely 2,000 seasons later you think that we would mature, see you with just your smile and an oath to defend all things Roman, in the autumn of 2008, will we still fall for seductive symbols and tokens Lucius Septimius Severus oh ye black emperor of Rome Barack Hussein Obama, black president of the brave people's home
So the next time you go to Florida on family vacation to scuba in Key Largo, look 90 miles to the south and explain why you kiss up to China but support the Cuban embargo. Does that make your sponsors giggle? Not a lot, but maybe a little. Will they?